ladies, welcome to my channel, HR Beauty by Yulia. I'm Yulia and I'm your virtual beauty therapist. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is kind of unboxing but not really because if you have been <laughs> checking out my videos and my Instagram, you probably know by now that my laptop just died and I lost a lot of material including the one that I already fully filmed and it was the unboxing of the Cold Beauty Sunshine Edit Box. I was completely gutted because I lost this video, another two, a lot of material, a lot of researches for my future videos and I still can't get through this. <laughs> but I did want to show you the products because some of them obviously the box is already sold out. It was literally sold out within a few hours. So I will definitely suggest if you're interested in future boxes by Cold Beauty, do subscribe to the newsletter so that you get notification and email as soon as they release their next box because I'm quite certain it will be quite great. Now, I wanted to show you the products. Some of them I already opened and tried a few times. Some of them I haven't because let's face it, I have quite a few products, so I don't want to open a lot, but once when I'm done with what I have now, I'm definitely going to try the rest of the products. So it is kind of first impression and not so first, and I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you do so, please consider subscribing to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, share it, and you can also find me and follow me in Instagram and TikTok for more beauty content. As you might guess, because it's a sunshine edit, a lot of the products will be SPF. The first one I wanted to show you is this one. So this one is from Supergoop and it is their SPF 50 Everyday Lotion with Sunflower Extract. It is a very water resistant. So this is the texture. I have to say initially I thought this will be quite heavy because of the sunflower, however, once when you apply it, it actually feels really like lotion and not so much as a cream, so it has a very nice and pleasant texture. So with this one, as I said, it really feels light like lotion, but it does leave a little bit of dewy look, so there is a bit of shine. It's not unpleasant by no means, I personally have dry skin, so... I like if I use a primer to have something a bit shimmery underneath. So if you are someone who wears makeup, this one actually is perfect underneath makeup. Um, I think if you are not wearing makeup and if your skin is oily, this might be a bit too much and make your skin looking even shinier. So you may not like but when you're looking into ink list, you do need the box. Now, you can see with this one, ingredients that are chemical SPF. Let's see, there's also a lantern. However, there is a rosewood oil, which is essential oil. You can see lemon peel and orange peel. You can see eucalyptus oil. You can see rice bran, uh, basil leaf extract, rosemary leaf extract. So this one has Four different essential oils and I just don't like them my skin doesn't get along that much however I did use it a few times didn't have any issues it does not make my eyes watery so from point of view of how my skin likes it it actually really likes it I'm quite surprised it is quite pleasant it is for combination dry skin I don't think it's great for oily skin and yes Unfortunately, it has essential oils inside. SPF number two and the most expensive product in this box is from Medicaid. And it is their SPF 50. It's Advanced Day Ultimate Protect. So this one is HD-fine moisturizing with uh, photolease. Now this is actually listed in the ingredients list um, as extract, so this will be your plantum extract. I did have a look in their website, so it is their patented technology and that's why it's a bit confusing because you can see it on the box, on the front, on the label, but you can't see it really inside in the inky list, that's why. In this one, once again, you do have a perfume added. I can't see any essential oils. Otherwise, as a protection, I can see 
chemical SPF, I can't see physical ones. There is here also blueberry seed oil, which is amazing antioxidant. So as how it feels like on the skin, I'm going to open it. Obviously I did try it in my previous video, that's why I had it open, but I did not try it in my everyday life. So this is how it looks like. You can see that it is a tube, however it's with pump. And this is the texture of the product. This is definitely heavier than the Super Goop one. This one definitely feels more like a moisturizer than a lotion. So I suppose this one also will have this... Yeah, it has a bit of a dewy look afterwards. It's not shiny and unpleasant, but definitely dewy. So I do think this will be for, for dry skin. Um, I don't think you will like it if your skin is oily definitely much richer than the super goop one quite strong scent as well the next spf is this one from shiseido it's been around for a while it's their expert scent protect face and body lotion with spf 50. Uh, this one is for face and body with very high protection very water resistant and it is 150 milliliters. I have to say I love the bottle. It's very convenient, easy to help like this. It really doesn't even look like 150 milliliters. I personally wouldn't use this one for my face, my personal choice. Before you apply it, you have to vigorously shake it. You can probably hear it. I think there's a, a tiny little bow inside in order to mix it even more better. So you can have a look how it looks like. As texture, super light, super easy, super absorbent. However, definitely there is a bit of scent of alcohol. So let's have a look with the ingredients list. We have water, then it is the isopropyl sebacate, and then we have talc. Uh, there is indeed alcohol in this one. In SPF, you can see very often alcohol in a lot of different products. The reason being is because in order for the different filters to work, you need to have a very even spreadability. So the solution has to be uh, very well mixed. And that's why a lot of people, uh, a lot of different brands will use as solvent alcohol. Usually when it is in very small quantities, you can't really feel it. It depends on the texture of the product. So if I see something like a toner and it's water, then I'll call it out and everything else. Definitely no. But in SPF, it does make sense and it depends on the balance of the formula and the rest of the ingredients. So yes, we have alcohol here. Now what else? There is citronellol, there is Ixil Cinnamon, there is Citral, Gebranium, there is added uh, perfume, I don't see essential oils. You have mixed of uh, chemical and physical filters, so you have also titanium dioxide nanoparticles. And mm, yeah, that's about it. It doesn't have so many different, say, moisturizing type of ingredients in this one, but it's very pleasant, I have to say, and very light. So I do think I'm going to use this one, but definitely not for my face. Lip SPF 50, which is definitely not so easy to find. And it is from the Australian uh, brand Ultraviolet. Now it came with the, uh, you, you could have get two different tints. So this one is shimmer and it looks like this. The other one was looking a bit pinkish. But this is what I got. Obviously these are not my lips, but this is how it looks like. Now with this one, I did try it a few times. I had quite bad experience in the past with different lip products that actually once when my lips are exposed under stronger UV light, it feels burning and super unpleasant. This one is not one of them. So. This is definitely something that I'm going to repurchase. I might try different tints as well. So you have as ingredients here, lanolin, 
calcite butter, then you have the SPF filters, beeswax, shea butter, sunflower seed oil, olive oil, castor oil, aroma, it feels quite pleasant, my lips are hydrated and definitely feel like they are protected. So this is something that I'm definitely going to repurchase. Still on the SPFs, there was some a sample, a little one, this is from Z Sticker and it's their Mega Shade SPF 50. This is breakout proof sunscreen serum. So this one definitely has a very very light texture. If you're with combination or oily skin, this is the one for you. I actually quite enjoy using it, although my skin is dry, but obviously I can always apply moisturizer underneath. The texture of the product, you can see it is quite runny, so it's more like lotion. And then it's quite easily spreadable, there is no white cast. And that's it. Definitely worth trying and definitely will recommend it for someone with oilier skin. I can't tell you what is inside because it's a sample, so I don't have ingredients list on this one, but I'll have a look for you. We do have aftercare as well, after exposure under sun. So this is Nukes Paris and this is their refreshing after sun lotion. This is supposed to prolong tanning, helps repair and soothe the skin. I do have to say that I got this one uh, for my holiday, ready in my holiday bag. So uh, this is for face and body. I don't think I will be using it for the face, definitely will be using it for the body. This is the texture of the product. The scent is quite strong, very flowery. In this case it's not super sweet. So it's okay. As ingredients here, we have full water, dimethicone, sunflower seed oil, glycerin. Now there is jojoba seed oil as well here. There definitely there will be a bunch of different flowers. Yes, I will let you know how it worked out. But initially, it's flowery but not too sweet. Definitely perfumey kind of lotion and. If it was to prolong my tan, hopefully I get some tan, it will be great. The next product is actually something that I think I'm going to open in the autumn when there's not so much sun, but it is a supplement. So this is from Hum and it's Here Comes the Sun, D3 without UV damage. So I think now, because especially I have two young kids, I'm all the time outside, I don't think I need a vitamin D supplement. This is without aluminium, it's vegan, a vegetarian, and it is based on coconut oil. I think you can probably have a look and see. Now it's not super hot here, but definitely for me it's weird that it kind of seems like I already have to store it in the fridge because it is based on coconut. They use the house, the milk, the flesh, everything in this product. This one does not contain a baking soda, so that's also okay. And a scent, yes, definitely coconutty. You can see the texture of the product, how it looks like on the skin, obviously. It doesn't leave white marks. It doesn't stain clothing because obviously this is another issue if you use something like coconut oil but definitely this is how it looks like already and this is not something that I enjoy that much. Also I have to say that unfortunately it doesn't look, it doesn't work that much, at least it doesn't for me. I don't consider myself a person who sweats a lot but obviously it's getting warmer. <laughs> Another product, not a full size but quite decent size, will be the Sika Pear Tiger Grass Sleep Hair Intensive Mask. It's this one. So obviously if you've been to the sun, your skin is a bit irritated or night repair is definitely something you should consider. This one looks like balm. Okay. This is how it looks like. We're gonna get a little bit of it so that you can have a look how it looks like on the skin. 
It looks like it will be super greasy. Yes, it is brown, but actually it is quite pleasant. It doesn't have some very strong scent. Niacinamide inside. You have cow's culture filtrate. You have fermented filtrates, actually a few of them. You have uh, Hotunia, Cordata. You have Fred Algae. As ingredients list, Panthenol, Bamboo Vinegar, Soya Peptide, uh, Malic Acid. Again, fermented ingredients. You have turmeric, amber powder, I don't know why it's here. <laughs> this is definitely looking pretty good type of repair for during the summer. The last product that I wanted to show you is this one. You can't miss this one. So this is a Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. And uh, this is the original one, I think. So this is the first uh, body lotion that I can see actually um, advertised as uh, top, middle and uh, base notes. Uh, very unusual. Advertised really and explained as perfume. They put a lot of efforts into this one. Now this one contains guarana, which contains a lot more caffeine than the normal coffee beans. So this is for your body to improve the blood circulation, to firm and tighten the skin, obviously to hydrate as well based on the rest of the ingredients. But it's not something that, say, I will apply for my neck and decolletage, but say, for your tummy, your arms, your legs, of course your bum, I think this will be quite good. I have to say, for this one, it smells very strong. I will be naughty and I'll get it with my finger. <laughs> because this is not something that I apply on my face and I do use it quite often. This is sample size, so it's not gonna be open for a very long time. This is the texture of your product, so you can see that from point of view of hydration, it applies like lotion quite easily. With me, personally, I don't like that much sweet scents, and this is definitely a sweet one. I have to say, I was very surprised the first time when I used it, because I put my pyjama a bit after I applied, not straight away of course, went to bed and on the next evening when I was putting my pyjamas I could definitely get the scent. So because it was a new product I was like, where this one came from? I don't remember spraying a perfume. But if you like this type of scents like sweet salted caramel with some nuts, including in the ingredients list I remember it had Brazilian nuts definitely you have to try this one and it makes sense why people are talking about it but i still do think that this is a sample size but obviously the full size is around 40 pounds and i think this is quite a bit for a body lotion but it depends if you can afford it after all and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did so please give it a thumbs up share it and consider subscribing to the channel Find me and follow me in TikTok and Instagram for more beauty content. I hope I'll see you next Tuesday for more about beauty and have a lovely, lovely day.